After capturing the mysterious video footage of the initial piss drop off, Grant and I decided to take the weekend to process what we had just witnessed. It was baffling to think that someone was out there at night in the bushes with latex gloves, strategically placing piss bottles on an electrical box. First thing Monday morning, I drove to the site to check if the bottles were gone. They weren't. In fact, they had doubled. Things were escalating quickly, so Grant decided to order a second Digit Garden 4K waterproof trail camera, and we devised a plan to capture what was occurring beyond the wall. For this intricate of a setup, we need a bigger crew of decoy construction workers. Fortunately, Grant had a construction worker friend who agreed to help out and lend us gear while also giving us a few pointers on how we could better sell the look. I didn't have any construction worker friends, but I had a motorcycle friend named Robin, who basically looks like a construction worker, and I was certain that he would help out. But Robin was busy that day, so I hit up my friend Katz, who's usually down for anything. Hey Katz, I'm working on a project and need some extra bodies. Mainly need you to come and be a construction worker. Okay. I've never done construction before, but fuck it, I'll try anything once. Hey wait, is this for the piss thing? With both Katz and Grant's real construction friend on board, it was time to head to the location and suit up. We were a squad of construction workers ready to take on whatever construction worker things that were in our path. And in this case, setting up two DigiGarden 4K waterproof trail cameras around an electrical box stacked with piss bottles. We played our parts perfectly. I did all the work while everyone else told me how to do it. Grant, the recently divorced disheveled project manager, loomed over, micromanaging us to a T. With cameras set up, our operation was an all-in-all -all success. Now it was time to wait. The next morning I returned to the box only to see that there was a new batch of piss bottles. I knew because this was fewer than before and one bottle had a particular darker tint. I immediately hit up Grant with the good intel but was only met with some disastrous news on his end. And out of nowhere, Grant hit me with the classic, I'm going to Norway today excuse. I'm going to Norway today. I had to retrieve these DigiGarden 4K waterproof trail cameras but also knew it would be too risky to collect on my own. I needed a project manager and I knew just the guy. Hey Katz, can you be my project manager? Easy. Also, try to match Grant's decoy outfit. Disheveled. You got it. Plus, I'm actually divorced. Katz and I met at the location, again in our decoy looks. Me as a normal construction worker, and Katz as an actually divorced, recently divorced, disheveled project manager. And we were able to retrieve both Digit Garden 4K waterproof trail cameras without any problems. We had two issues with the Digit Garden 4K waterproof trail cameras. The first one I set up failed to record anything. Not really sure why, but it's something I'll be voicing my frustrations with the DigiGarden customer service at a future date. The other issue being that the second camera shifted positions upon setup and framed out the electrical box. But beyond the wall, we did get a major hit. Footage of the culprit in the act, revealing a man in his mid-30s to 40s wearing latex gloves and a flashlight, pouring liquids from one bottle to another, then methodically placing the piss on the electrical box. Also, the timestamp is almost identical to the previous footage. This clearly seemed premeditated and very intentional. I thought getting a visual of the culprit would give me some closure, but in reality, it only doubled my curiosity. Is this some abstract performance artist or some family man's late night fetish? For every question I answer, I seemingly raise two more. What are his motives? Who is doing the pickups? And is that actually urine? 